Today, we're gonna add a delicious warm glow to your photos in Photoshop. Delicious. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add a warm glow to your photos. This is super cool. Your wedding photos, lifestyle portraits, basically it's just gonna give your images like a summer type, like autumn look. It's just like, oh, the sun's shining in from the corner of the image, how beautiful. You can do this in Photoshop, which is really great. You just need an image that's kind of backlit. So if the sun is coming from the front, it's not gonna work as much. So just make sure the sun is kind of coming from the back. But we're gonna show you first how to add a really cool custom gradient that's gonna actually add that glow from one of the corners and if you're lazy about it like I am sometimes don't worry all these gradients and all the tools we're using in this episode you can just download them right down below so we're gonna show you how to add a really cool gradient and then we're gonna color that gradient with a gradient map so by the end of this it's a couple really simple steps you're gonna have that beautiful warm glow that you can apply to any photo and it's gonna properly colorize your photo as well all right guys we got a great tutorial for you let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop So here's our image in Photoshop. What a perfect photo for a warm glow. Little cute puppy guy. And uh, we've got a light source kind of coming from the top left. So you wanna go ahead and like look at your subject. You can see uh, we've got you know a highlight here from the top left. So that's where we're gonna create our light source in this photo, the little glow. So just make sure you match up whatever you're doing in Photoshop. Just make sure it makes sense in your photo. So you know, don't have a light source coming from a place that there's no light coming from. It, it won't look real. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, let's create a new layer, and I'm gonna go to my gradient tool. So let's hit G for the gradient tool, and we got a couple options here. So we're gonna choose, uh, we have a few different ways to make gradients, the linear gradient, radial, a few other ones that you pretty much never use. <laughs> we're gonna click on your radial gradient, and if I just click and drag out, this is kind of how this works. It goes from one color to transparent. Now there's a ton of different gradients you can get to. So let's click here on the top to our gradient editor, and we'll just show you a couple, like these are already built in. So if I click on here, it's gonna do something like that, which is like, whoa, pretty crazy. Okay, so you can have all kinds of cool gradients and we're gonna create a gradient of our own in this episode. And then you can just can actually download this exact gradient on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off here with our black and white gradient. So if you wanna follow along, you just go ahead and click on your black and white gradient. Now, here on the bottom, you basically got your sliders. You got two sets of little, little little squares with triangles. What are they? Well, on the bottom, this is your color. So if I've got my black, I can move it over and here we'd have like, you know, way more black than white. And here it's gonna go to a really nice even fade from black to white. And on the top, here's where we can choose our opacity, which is really, really cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and think about how a gradient's gonna like come out from the top left corner. So it's gonna be super bright in the top left corner and then it's gonna kind of turn and we, we're doing a warm glow here, right? So we want it to be like reddish and orange and yellow and kind of like fade out and then go invisible. So what we're gonna do is basically mirror that with the gradient we're about to make and we're just gonna worry about light and dark values. For now, we're not gonna worry about colors. We're gonna do that in a second. So what we've got here is we've got our white side. So that's gonna be super transparent, right? or super opaque, rather it's visible, and then it's gonna go to transparent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little uh, paint bucket right here, and I'm gonna take my opacity and bring that down to 0%. So we're going from white to transparent. But on the way, I want it to get black. So I'm gonna click up here and we're gonna make another one of these, and we're gonna bring the opacity up to 100% on that one. And we're gonna bring our little black, well, it's just a, it's a, marker for a color. It's it's not necessarily black. You can click on your color there and you can make any color you want. But in this case, we are gonna choose black because we want our white to black gradient and then I want it to disappear. So let's go ahead and hit okay here. I'm just gonna hit okay and see what this looks like. So we've got our a radial gradient selected. I'm on my new layer. So I'm gonna click on the top left and just click and drag out. And you know what? It's doing the opposite of what we wanted, isn't it? Didn't I want this top corner to be white? and then go out to be black. So not a big deal if that happens, just click on this reverse icon there, and then we'll see what happens. So we're just gonna click on there, 
And there we go. It's going from white to black, and then it just goes away. It, it, it gets transparent. It, that is exactly what we want. So we're just gonna go give ourselves a nice big glow. We're gonna go from white to black, and then uh, back to transparent again. So that looks great. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and save this gradient. So if you ever wanna save, you can save brushes, gradients, textures, all kinds of cool stuff in Photoshop. Just click here, and I'm just gonna go to save, and we're just gonna go to uh, warm, Glow. All right. Now, I, <laughs> I'm totally aware that this is not a warm glow. This is just white to black to transparent. But in just a second, it is going to be a warm glow. So we're done with our first part of it. It may not look like it, but we've actually done a lot so far. So the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to color our image. And we're going to use another gradient for this. This time, it's going to be in a gradient map. And this allows you to color your shadows, your midtones, and highlights. And if you haven't messed with a gradient map, man, they're so awesome. I'm like, every time I use it, I'm like, I'm falling in love with the gradient map. Sorry, uh, everyone else I love. Gradient map is climbing up <laughs> that list. It's really cool because it creates these like beautiful lifelike coloring effects. Instead of just like throwing some yellow on there, it colors the shadows and midtones and highlights. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to create that gradient map. So we're going to start off by making this layer, this uh, layer we just made. We're going to just make that invisible for a second. And I'm going to go to layer. We're going to go down to adjustment layer. And I'm going to go to my gradient map and hit OK. And this one, you really just want to create your own gradient here. You want to you get into it and have a lot of fun. So let's click here on our gradient map. You can see right now it looks really bad. So let's go ahead and click here on the gradient. And you can just go ahead and click on a few gradients and kind of get an idea for how this works, right? Let's go ahead and just drag this out a little bit there. Okay, so we have a few gradients that are loaded into Photoshop already. Now, if you want to add more gradients in here, you can totally do that. Just click on this little uh, gear icon and you can go down to one of these guys. If you want to go to like photographic toning, just hit the append button. It'll pop it at the end. And look, you got all these cool photographic toning gradients that you can map your image with. Isn't this fun? So you can see they just go from like one color to light to lighter, 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 whatever. Okay, so we're going to just start with a black to white because we're going to go totally from uh, scratch here because, uh, you know, we were going to create our own. So warm glow, right? We've got some reds and some oranges and some yellows. So let's go ahead and click right about here. Okay, this is going to be our first point and I'm going to go ahead and give it a color. We're going to give it like a nice, there we go, a nice deep red and that's just going to be kind of like towards our shadow levels and don't worry if you don't get it right the first time you can move this stuff all around all the time so don't worry no pressure so we're going to go from red and then we're going to go we're going to click here we're going to make orange so let's just go right up our hue slider okay and then we want to get a little bit lighter too there we go yeah that looks pretty good so let's hit okay and then right up here this is where i want to be a little bit yellow so we're going to click right up there and then we're just going to get a little bit brighter and we'll just desaturate that a little bit. All right. And now we're talking. That's a pretty nice warm glow. So let's hit OK. And here we can see we've got our starting on black. So the darkest is still going to be black. Then it's going to go to our uh, kind of like burnt umber to orange to yellow to white. And you can move these around. So if like you want to brighten up your shadows a little bit, you can do that just like this. If you want to make it darker, you can do that. Okay, so feel free to move these around and kind of just, you know, get something get something that you like. Now we're going to lower the opacity. Obviously, this is way too much, right? It's like, ugh. We're going to lower the opacity in just a little bit. Okay, so this looks great. Now let's hit OK. And we have our gradient map. Now the cool thing about this gradient map, it's on an adjustment layer, is we can use this to color our image, but we can also use it to color the gradient that we made earlier in this tutorial. So we're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna use it to color both. And what's cool about that is that we're gonna have the color from the gradient, you know, the one we created earlier, that is gonna match the same coloring that we do for our image. And they're both gonna have like shadows, midtone, and highlight color, which just gonna give it a little bit more depth. All right, let's show you how to do it, then we'll be done. Okay, so remember, we've got our original gradient here, and then we've got our gradient map. And you may be thinking as about now, like, why, how could you ever use this? Well we can use this. So we're going to click on this guy and I'm going to change my blending mode from normal. We're going to go down to screen blending mode. Okay. And what screen blending mode does is it makes blacks invisible. 
Okay, so anything that's black on your image is gonna get invisible, or on your layer rather, and white is gonna be visible. So right now you might be thinking, well, why didn't you just take an, just a white to transparent gradient and pop that across, because it basically looks the same. And it does, however, because we have the black in this layer, our gradient map, check this out. If I right click on my gradient map and go down to create a clipping mask, boom. Oh my gosh, that's cool, right? Because now my gradient mask, this is called a clipping mask, by the way. Anytime you see this little arrow clicking right there, that means that this layer is only affecting this layer, okay? So what's super cool now is that this gradient map is coloring this gradient. So without it, you know, without that gradient map on, let's just turn that on, it looks super boring, right? But with it on there, whoa, we have like a nice yellow to orange to red, and then it kind of fades away. This is like a really nice, like warm glow in our image, which is super cool. Now, again, this wouldn't work the same if this was just a white gradient, again, because it's the gradient map has to color darks, midtones, and lights, right? So if it's just white to transparent, it would only be coloring one just white and it wouldn't give you this nice range. So that's why we have this beautiful range there. How cool. So we just colored our nice glow coming from the top left, but we're not done yet because we can use the same exact gradient map to then give our image a little bit of a warm glow as well. So what I wanna do is just click on my gradient map. I'm gonna duplicate that, okay? Now I'm gonna right click here and we're just gonna go to release clipping mask because we don't need this one to clip, okay? We'll just put that right under there. So we've got our gradient here, okay? And then we've got this one is gonna color our whole image, okay? And we just don't need it to be that visible. So we're just gonna lower the opacity like quite a bit. You know, we can bring our opacity even up to like 20% or something like that. It's just gonna give a little bit of nice warm glow to the photograph, okay? But we still have this really nice gradient that's kind of coming in from the top left, which is super cool. So with this other gradient map, you can, you can adjust your opacity here. You can also set it to like soft light, which is just gonna kind of blend into your image a little bit more. And I, I think I like that the most. So we have our soft light with our gradient map at the top. And then you know what, if you wanted to, I'm just gonna go uh, one more at the very top. I'm just gonna go create a normal uh, foreground to transparent gradient here. There we go. And we're just gonna go, oh, let's unclick this reverse. We're just gonna go pop a little bit more white up there. And then you can kind of just change your opacities around and kind of make it make it your own. You know, you can move this gradient around. You can, you can make it larger, you can make it smaller. If you just zoom out, then you can just make your gradient larger or smaller if you want to. It's gonna make it look, if it's too small, honestly, it might not look super realistic. So I'm like, let's make it bigger and then kind of like make it softer a little bit. Cool. I totally dig it. I think we're doing a great job here. And you can always change the opacity of this guy too. If you wanna like, right now it's pretty saturated. If you wanna lower the saturation a little bit, just do it just like that. All right guys, well that's our beautiful warm glow. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and our after. Here's our before and the after. So that's how we're doing it, adding a warm glow in Photoshop. Now, don't forget, you guys can actually download all the assets that you need to do this on your own photos on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. I enjoyed hanging out with you. If you wanna learn more Photoshop and photography, head on over to flurn.com. We've got over 600 tutorials teaching you everything you'd ever wanna know about Photoshop. It's ridiculous. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll flurn you later. Bye, everyone. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, taste something that resembles the rainbow. I was gonna say taste the rainbow, but obviously that's trademark. I should have an Aaron Jr. That'd be so funny. Like a mini me. I want a mini me.